Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds, and this week we are heading to our new standard format to do absurd things with Mirror Box, which I think might be the new Panharmonicon. I got a feeling we're going to be playing this card in a lot of different builds because it just does such ridiculous things, so let's talk about our Teamer Mirror Box deck jump into some games, see the insanity in action. All right, so here is our Teamer Mirror Box deck, and this deck is, oh my goodness, just so much fun. So we're built around Mirror Box, which does a whole bunch of different things. Uh, the big one for our deck is the Legend Rule not applying, although we got a ton of Legends in our deck. So we're also pumping our creatures, and if we get multiples of the same Legend on the battlefield, they get pumped even more. So not only does this let us play more than one copy of a Legend at a time, it also makes our Legends really, really big so we can use them to close out the game. So to go along with mirror bugs, we got Bard Class, which is probably the second best legendary payoff in standard. Uh, I mean, it makes our legends bigger. It allows us to ramp our Gru legends into play with level two. And then level three just draws us a ton of cards. So these cards go together really, really well. Mirror Box lets us play all the legends we want. Bard Class ramps them into play and draws us a ton of cards as we play them. So as far as the legends in our deck, the most exciting are probably the ones that make a ridiculous amount of mana, like Magda, Burgi, Azika also kind of joins the mix, although it's not as explosive. But like Magda, when a dwarf becomes tapped, we get a treasure token. Well, what if we have two Magdas on the battlefield? Then we're getting two every time one is tapped, or three, and we can use Azika to tap our Magdas without attacking and just make a ridiculous amount of mana. And then if we got Bard class going for card raw or some of our other card advantage, like the backside of Burgi, Harnfeld, Horn of Bounty, we can just play through our entire deck. Burgi is just as absurd. Whenever he casts a spell, we get a red mana. So if we have two or three Burgis, all of a sudden, all of our stuff is essentially free. Some of it actually turns into rituals where it's generating mana. So these cards give us the mana to power through our deck. Then we have some card advantage stuff. Toski, really, really good. Back up two bar classes, a way to draw a ton of cards. Two or three Toskis, we just draw our deck really quick. Gretchen works really good with our big mana plan uh, because we can activate it multiple times in a turn. It's four mana to draw a card, which isn't exciting. But if we get a bunch of Magdas and Burgies going, we have a ridiculous amount of mana. So the pinch is often cards. We want to draw cards so we can hit like more cards in hand for Harnfeld to discard to draw even more cards to play through our entire deck. So Gretchen important there. Jacob is just kind of fun. I kind of wish it was a second copy of Gretchen, honestly, now that I played the deck a bunch, but Jacob's pretty sweet. Just drawing through our deck and then the backside lets us cast stuff for free. Then we have our clone effects in Moria to the Frost, Croaking Counterpart. Work really well with Mirror Box because man, we can copy our legends and that's just how we can get a bunch of Burgies, a bunch of Magdas, whatever on the battlefield, a bunch of Toskis on the battlefield. Then we have just a couple of back up legends. Helena and Elena makes their stuff big. Trognar, just free if we got Bard class going. Finally, the end of our legend chain is Goro Goro, Disciple of the Ryusi, which is mostly in our deck just to give our stuff haste. So like how we win with this deck most commonly is play through most of our deck with Bard class with Mirror Box letting us keep all our legends on the battlefield, make a ridiculous amount of mana, draw a ridiculous amount of cards, and then eventually play Goro Goro just to haste up the team and attack in for a few hundred damage to win. Otherwise, a Braid Demon Bolt give us some removal. Mana base pretty straightforward. Sideboard, we get a bunch of counters for the control deck, some protection and Tamiyo safekeeping, a bunch of removal and sweepers for aggro, and that is Teamer Mirror Box. That's our against the odds deck for this week, so let's jump into some games and see what crazy things can we do with Mirror Box in a deck full of mana generating card drawing legends and Kamigawa standard. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Need some new Kamigawa Neon Dynasty cards? Well, you can get them from our amazing sponsor Card Kingdom by heading over to cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish and even get a free goldfish sticker. Just let them know you want one in your order notes and they'll hook you up. Against the odds time, we are mirror boxing in our new standard format. Mirror box take one. The, the challenge of mirror box, honestly, is there's so many things it can do. And ah, boy, I was actually kind of dreading this against odds episode in a weird way because I felt like no matter what I did, someone was probably going to end up disappointed that I didn't do something else. Cause there's like well, probably 50 different mirror box decks you can build. Like seriously, it does so many things. So, uh, so yeah, but this deck I think is, is pretty sweet. I'm hopeful that it's pretty sweet. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's start Jacobing. We'd like to get some green mana. There's some green mana. What are we getting rid of is the real question. Um. <laughs> I'll just get rid of Trognar. We don't really need Trognar at the moment. 
So get rid of that. Play the land. Play Goro Goro. And I guess we just haste it up and smack you for two. Boom. 18. I assume our opponent has infinite Ras. A Toski would be spectacular. Wedding announcement. Mm-hmm. Uh, boom. It passes. Well, there's our mirror box. Uh, let's loot. Get rid of Goro Goro, I guess. Yeah, get rid of Goro Goro. Shatter Skull Smashing Tap. Play Mirror Box. And I don't even think we bother to. Well, I guess we can attack now that we pumped. I forgot the Mirror Box. Legendary Anthem. It does so much. It does so much. It's actually like really, really good. Opponent going to Eye Twitch for Environmental Sciences. Still want another green source at some point. Opponent going to kill the Jacob. Uh huh. Makes sense. Well, there's Bard class, although we can't level it up right away. Oh, I wish we had another greed source. That would make life so much better. All right, well, I mean, I guess we're just Goro Goro tribal. Hit ya. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of working in its own weird way. I mean, I'm expecting everyone to rather board at any moment, but that is two Goros pumping each other about it. Ah, Grimalin. And passes, and flips. Well, Magda's nice. I do like Magda. Uh, so we'll play Bard class. We will play Magda. We will haste. Go attacking, get a treasure. Opponent gonna block and block. Kill the Magda. The Goro Goro survives. Never, never dies. About it, adapts. Edgar. Well, the next step is leveling up this bard class, because if we can fully level it up, it's so good. Level up. Play Helana and Elena. Go to combat. Counters on Goro Goro. I guess haste doesn't do much, does it? Yeah, <laughs> it does not. Because we don't want to smash into this Edgar, but well, get him with Goro Goro. Bone it, takes it. Next turn, if our bard class is around, we can fully level up. And then that gives us card draw. Abone it. Wandering Emperor. I mean, that's not bad. That does get rid of the Goro Goro. Well, now we basically just want cheap legends. Any cheap legends to go with our bard class. Abone it. Passes. Well, level up bard class. Play the land. And yeah, I mean, we just got a next turn's a turn when we try to do things. Please do not kill our bard class or mirror box. And fun things might actually be happening. Opponent. I, oh, sure. I mean, that's a good card, but we're about to try to go off. All right, there's green mana. Well, play the green source. Play a Zika. Draw two. Toski. Croaking Counterpart. Croaking Counterpart. Oh no, we mistapped. Oh, this is sweet. Uh, croaking Counterpart on what? I guess Toski? And then counters on Toski. Attack you. And we have Vigilance, so our stuff doesn't get got by wandering, uh, by the wandering effort. Yeah, photo's gonna block with IO. I don't think we want to tap our stuff here. Look at the frog Toski. Look at the frog Toski. Oh, all right. About it. Yeah, it's a shambling ghast, and we're just going to pass because we would prefer not to get our stuff sniped by Wandering Emperor. Lolf. Uh huh. Well, now we just want to draw a legend. Again, any legend would be spectacular. Makes a samurai. All right, we draw land, which isn't super helpful. Opponent is not making it easy to draw cards here. Uh, they are definitely not. Well, we will make a Toski. Go to combat, grow the Toski, attack our opponent. Oh, we probably should have hasted this one, shouldn't we? Yeah, all right. Slight punt, but that's fine. Block and block, opponent gets counters on Lolf. Like we're set up, so if we ever, 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 ever draw a legend, we're just in such spectacular shape to to play our. We got triple Toski, two frog Toskies. About it. All right, deals with a Toski. Well, that's our opponent's last card for now, and we will. Our deck is full of legends. We will draw one eventually. Opponent land. Are you cashing in Lolf? No. Draws with Lolf. Are you cashing Wandering Emperor? No. 
environmental sciences to get a land. And thanks to our Toskies, like, Meatball Massacre could still get us, but a normal Wrath doesn't get much of ours. Oh, come on, legend. All right, Azika is a legend. It counts. The question is, do we want to try to play the backside of it? We could. Or we just play the front side and legend roll ourselves just to draw cards. Is that better? Maybe. <laughs> the backside is kind of funny. We would have to tap two of our creatures and then potentially get them sniped. You know what? Let's go blue, white, black. Prismatic bridge. Trigger barred class. Whiff. Brutally. Well, Bard class. Level up Bard class. Go to combat. Counters on the big Toski. Go attacking. About it. Blocks. Blocks. Okay, well, play the land. Nice Pass. Can we level up? One, two, three. Oh, uh, we don't want to tap a, we don't want to tap a frog to get sniped opponent adapts. What a weird game. I mean, this is working for the moment. Opponent gonna make spiders. We're just not able to get in these Toski hits, Samurai, which leaves us super dependent on drawing, on drawing a legend. Opponent gonna mill and get back. Well, there goes a meat hook massacre. Get back a yo again. Opponent back, legend, any legend, any legend. So we get to spin the bridge, demon bolt. Well, level up. Well, go to combat. Grow the frog. Go attacking at our opponent. I mean, if we ever hit our opponent, we probably win. But I don't know if we ever will. They just have so many blockers. Opponent, gonna block and block. So stuff dies. Opponent gets some loyalty. Do we want to make a dragon? That's a real question. Oh, we have to do it while we're attacking. All right, well, that's fine. I think we want to leave up the removal anyway to hopefully kill a planeswalker. If our opponent just makes spiders, that's fine. Like we're slogging through these spiders anyway, and sooner or later we are going to, oh, we're gonna draw something and go, like the next legend we cast draws us four cards. Like if we draw a single legend, I think we just have like the best turd imaginable in standard. Like that's all we need is any, any legend to start the double bar class chain. Meatball Massacre. Well, let's kill the Lolf. Stuff dies, that's fine. But this actually <laughs> does not kill the Toskies. So this might actually be good for us. We go to 11, Pone goes to 14. They make a samurai. Oh, come on, any legend, any legend. Chatter's called smashing. Well, okay, one, two. All right, we're just gonna smash one of the tokens. We wanna keep our mana up. So opponent can keep the Edgar, smash a token. This lets us get in with the Toskies and finally start drawing cards. <laughs> the Froskies. <laughs> Phone it blocks, we draw two, Phone it goes to three. I mean, I guess if we killed that, we would have won, wouldn't we have? Oh my, oh my, I just want a combo. All right, kill the Edgar. A bonus gift. So we could have won, but I don't want to win. I want to play the deck. That's the thing. <laughs> Winning is secondary. What is the most important thing is playing through our entire deck with, <laughs> with bar class and beer box and friends. Well, that went fine. That was not bad. We didn't end up winning, but it was not, it was, it was pretty good. All right, what do we want against this deck? Probably some counters. A braid doesn't seem great. Burn down the house might be worth it, even though it does kind of wreck our board. I could see Tamiyo safekeeping mostly to protect mirror box. Like, so what do we actually have to kill? Planeswalkers and potentially, oh man, we had triple Toski, that's so sweet. Um, planeswalkers and potentially, and potentially Edgar can be a problem. But we don't have to really worry about sniping random dorks. We don't really have graveyard hate. I guess disdainful stroke could be good. Maybe we just bring in counters mostly. What do we cut? We can go down one more yet, I guess. Go down one. Burgie's great. Mirror box is key. I guess we can go down a Goro Goro and Eh, maybe just the Trognars. The Trognars just feel like they, they're gonna die. All right, well, we got the win. We got the win, which is nice. However, we were so close to just having that like ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous turn. Go, go Gretchen, I guess. 
Schwamp for our opponent and dresses our negate, I assume. Yeah. Well, tap Langu. Opponent, Spirited Companion draws a card. Sure. Well, that is a Bard class, so we will play it. Never complain about drawing the Bard class. Uh, outside of Mirror Box, that is one of the best cards in our deck. We'll see how many answers our opponent has now. Right of Oblivion. All right, so there goes a the Bard class. Don't play the land. Well, we'll play the land. We'll play Gretchen. Yeah, this deck has a ton of removal. Don't it plays a tap land. I twitch. I guess we just pass and draw cards. <laughs> this seems like our, our best bet at the moment. Found it, land and lol. All right, opponent passes, well, draw a card. Untap, play Besaju, ooh, interesting. There is a right of oblivion though, which is annoying. You know what, we're just gonna do, we're gonna do the same thing. Pass the turn. Opponent, gonna mill, maybe get back the Spirited Companion or a Shambling Ghast, sure. All right, gets back Spirited Companion. Land for our opponent. Go blank, well, let's draw a card. Discard what is the question? Probably Moria and... Yeah, let's go Halan and Elena for now. All right, so opponent can play the Dork and draw a card. We're trying to play around this Rite of Oblivion as much as we can. Now let's play Magda. Yeah, play Magda. Croken counterpart, Spirited Companion. <laughs> Frog Dog. So many Azekas. Pass the turn. Oh, I'm really worried about a sweeper. About it, plays a lad. Hive the High Tyrant. A oh, big attack. Now we'll just trade and take four. Getting that off the battlefield is nice because our opponent can use it for the right of Oblivion flashback. And then opponent has a Vanishing Verse. All right, well, Magda. Play Azika. Pass the turn. All right, opponent's got so much removal. I mean, that's what the black white deck, wow, they passed. Okay, that's really interesting. So now we get to do things. I was not expecting the pass there. So we get to Tap Mog, no. Tap, tap. So white, black, blue, red, green. Play Prismatic Bridge. Play Mirror Box. And pass the turn. So opponent can't kill the bridge. We know they have the right of oblivion and they can tutor up, oh, mascot exhibition. Opponent gets over one. I assume that's their plan, but I think we can hopefully kind of fight through this. Deadly, wow, deadly dispute. Okay, so we're gonna sack that to draw cards and then sack the treasure to kill the bridge. Necrotic fumes, gets a treasure. Right of oblivion, sacks the treasure. And opponent, ooh, disdainful stroke. That'll be helpful eventually. Well, we might as well attack since our stuff all has vigilant. So hit you with the dorks. Opponent goes to 14. Tap, tap, one, two, three, prismatic bridge number two. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's just pass, leave up the counters. A bonus. I was wondering if we should run out the backside of Burgie, but a little bit concerned about getting got by Hive of the Eye Tyrants. We are at nine, that's not the highest life total. Oh, not gonna get in and hit us, can't block it this turn, sure. But I mean, we're so close to just going off here. Edgar. You know what? I don't even think we counter that. We just don't really care about Edgar. A bonus passes. Prismatic Bridge. Spin it to win it. Ooh, that's a Toski. Oh my God, and another one. Uh, all right, so Toski, Toski. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Two Toskis is so sweet, about it. Gonna block something. Sure. We get to draw two. You know what? Let's tap this again. Uh, tap for red. Red, whatever. Play Burgi. And pass the turn. Oh boy. Double Burgi. Oh, we're so close. Pony, I twitch. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. That is fine. 
<laughs> we are okay with that. Bonnet gonna probably kill a Toski. That is also fine. We got a backup thanks to Mirror Box. Shh, we could actually save it. You know what? We're just gonna let it go. An opponent done. Minus going through our entire deck and really going off. We took on one of the best control decks in standard. We, uh, we just Mirror Boxed them. Like, Mirror Box was super good there. Being able to have like double Toski on the battlefield was absurd. So that wasn't the, the full going off, but that was still really sweet. All right, sweet, sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Against odds time, we are, ugh, we're mirror boxing in standard. We got our mirror box, which is good. The rest of this hand does not do, oh my God, white, black control again. Uh, all right, well, we might be going to play the land. Ooh, tribute to a ruby. All right, all right, all right, that's sweet. Well, play a land, untapped, green, bard class. Smack you a bit. Uh, boom, it gives us a rat. Pathway and Luminarch Aspire. All right, so this is like black, white aggro, I guess. Go to combat, attack. Opponent takes it. This is awkward. Yeah, this is actually looking a little sketchy. Level up the Bard class, play a tap land. Oh boy, so opponent gets to steal back the rats and they get Echo of Death's Whale and they have Luminarch Aspire going off and Henrika da Manifi. This is a smackdown. <laughs> this is a beatdown, about it. Gets in, sacks a rat, hits us for a billion. We do draw on a braid, which is nice. Wow, this is just such a, such a slow clunky start for our deck. Well, we'll see. So we get to kill the Luminarch Aspirant. Pass the turn. I mean, I guess our hope is to level up Bard class and then combo off and stabilize. Unsure if we're actually gonna live long enough about it. Going to flip, hit us for seven, six. I'm gonna sack to draw a card. Well, tribute to Roby looks good. Opponent draws another card. So we're dead on board. That's unfortunate. Uh, so we can play this to chump. We can kill the Harubi with Shatter Squall. Oh my God, all right, well. Actually, no, we're just gonna scoop. <laughs> little bit, little bit too slow of a start. With a, we got a, a hand that was a little slow and our opponent's deck's very aggressive. Uh, so burn down the house seems helpful. Flame Bless Bolt, maybe Demon Bolt. What can we cut is the question. We probably gotta go down frogs, unfortunately. Go down the Grogan counterpart. Uh, Trognar, Gretchen, probably one more yet. Probably one Toski and probably Jacob. Let's run it like that. So we get a bit more removal and also importantly, we gotta be on the play of this game, which should hopefully help a little bit. That game, our opponent, whoo, about as fast of a start as, uh, as can be. The Black Saga look good though. That one is pretty interesting just cause it has haste. Plus it generates card advantage. Ooh, has a lot of cards we'd like, but we cannot keep the one lander. This is not bad. Question's gonna be, what do we put to the bottom? I mean, it's probably gonna be burn down the house, honestly. Oh, uh, are we gonna really regret putting, you know what, we're gonna put him, we're gonna do it. We came here to do cool things with Bard class. I don't think we're gonna put combo pieces to the bottom. Uh, about it. Tab land, well, besage you, Bard class. This hand definitely looks better, much, much better. Plains for our opponent and tribute to Haru. We're gonna start ratting it up. Well, uh, level up the Bard class. Play the land, play Magda, and hit you for one. Uh, not gonna play Trognar. We would rather play Trognar after we fully level up Bard class. I mean, if we get to Magda treasure fully level up Bard class, this end could go off. Welcoming vampire. Well, that looks like the plan. Um, play the land, go to combat, attack you, make a treasure. Wow, opponent just takes it. Well, all right, boom, fully level it up. Attack the treasure. And then hopefully next turn's a big one. Opponent steals back the rats. Sure, sure, sure. Gets a Harobi or Echo of Death's Whale. Yup. Opponent's deck looks sweet. Kind of like white, black aggro. Wedding announcement, that's fine. I think we can go bigger than this. Opponent, gonna sack to draw. We are also going to draw a few cards this turn. 
Umori yet. So we could double Magda. Well, let's start with Trognar. Okay, there's a mirror box. Play Azika. A land mirror box. Go attacking. Magda make some mana. Play a Magda. Kill the rat. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> All right. Two Magdas, three potentially incoming. That's a lot of treasures next turn. That's a lot of treasures next turn. And opponent. Oh! All right, mirror box, mirror box. That's the kind of start we want against this deck. Oh, the deck does some really sweet things. I mean, I guess we just probably run it back. I mean, we basically, we want to start kind of like that. Like that's what we're looking for. A, uh, a start where we impact the board early because our opponent's deck looks very aggressive. Either that or a bunch of removal. Wow, that's a bunch of removal, but only one land. Oh, that's so risky. Oh, I think we got to mulligan it. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. We'll put the Moriette to the bottom. Well, bar class, Burgi, et cetera. Wouldn't mind drawing an untap land for this turn. That would probably be the best, being able to actually play something this turn. Luminarch Aspirant. Well, all right, another tap land. Opponent. Tribute to Harobi. Oh, all right, so opponent's getting off to the fast start again. No attacks. I mean, do we just have to kill the Luminarch Aspirant? I guess it would be Fun if we could start leveling up Bard class, but I mean, we play a Z. Oh, we can't play a Z because we don't have the mana for it. So if we play Bard class next turn, we can level up. Well, yeah, I think we just got to kill the Spirit, hit you with the rat. All right, another land would be good. Another land lets us play and level up the Bard class. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, opponents. Herobies for days, Spirited Companion. This might be an issue. Not a land. Play Bard Class, go attacking. Yeah, it's a, a lot of rats about to be stolen. Opponent goes to 60. Well, I've gained a new respect for Tribute of Herobie. That actually seems like a pretty legit card. Opponent has a huge board. They get haste, they get to start drawing cards and we're kinda, oh, and a Edgar. Yeah, gets in, gets a sack, gets to draw. Yeah, tri Echo of Death Whale. Tribute to Hirobi looks really solid. Yeah, we're in a we're in a in a heap of trouble. Oh boy. Well, I mean, we also never do another land, which is the other huge problem. That's the turn opponent. <laughs> three three flying Aster number two. At least there's no rats to steal. Yeah, if we had lands, we might have had a shot. Opponent has some removals, and we are officially officially dead. Well, interesting. I mean, we showed that our deck could keep up with that deck when it ran well. Pawn's deck looked interesting though. Definitely more fun than playing against white black control every round. So that's sweet. Against the odds time, we are mirror boxing in, ooh, in standard, we're keeping this. We're keeping this. I mean, we got the Magda, we got the mirror box. Hopefully nothing goes horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, untap land, Magda. Please don't kill it. We really need the treasure. Oh, multiple Magdas is one of the one of the crazier things <laughs> that you can imagine with all the treasures they can make, especially when we can tap them without attacking if we need to. Please, oh, it doesn't kill it. All right, well, go to combat. Attack you, get a treasure. Opponent goes to 18, show, show. I wish we had a land, not having one's really sketchy. We can play a Zika, but it gets Juari disruption. Maybe we just play, yeah, let's just play Jacob. Jacob plays around disruption. And this also gives our opponent two things that they kind of need to kill if they want to keep us from making mana. A better than taps. But we do need to hit land drops at some point. Opponent passes, all right, there's a land. Go to combat, attack with Magda. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, opponent. So we get to loot. Uh, I guess we can get rid of the Gretchen. So opponent uh, taps our Magda for us. Thank you. Uh, we'll play land in mirror box. Trying to play around a wrath as much as possible. I'm gonna do some foretelling. New plan, I think we're gonna try to flip this Jacob. Go to combat, hit you with the Magda. Get a treasure. 
plan land, Jacob, get rid of Zika, flip Jacob, prismatic bridge. <laughs> what a, what a turd. That was a pretty sweet turd. Wow, Jacob flip into prismatic bridge. That's a lot of free value of those resolves. Is it saw it coming? All right. Bonet cash is in the saw it coming. Sure. And passes. Play mirror box for free. How do we play around the counter? All right, go to combat, attack. Mega treasure hits you down to 11. More yet. Stop countering your stuff. All right, saw it coming number two. About it adapts. Okay, passes. Well, land on red. Magda, number two. Goro Goro. Those decks so sweet. Haste up the, the fools. Oh my God, all right, opponent taps our stuff. We still make a bunch of treasures. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Oh, that was so close to being the, the dream. It's still good, it's still good. So opponent double taps Magda, which means we make four treasures because they both trigger each other. <laughs> yep. Hit our opponent for four. Play Gretchen. Pass the turn. All right, no wraths, no wraths. Just die, please just die. I'm What I'm most worried about is a random farewell. If our opponent's randomly playing farewell, oh my goodness, that's such a blowout. Path of Paro. All right, that is also a blowout. Sure. Well, we draw a bunch of lands. We play the land. The backside of Burgi. We discard, you know what? We play Prismatic Bridge. You know what, let's just do this. <laughs> no creatures, no problem. Please tell me you don't have something like Farewell, but it plays a land. Oh my, and we are quitting magic. <laughs> what are the chances that we run into a deck that's playing? All right. Andu and Ver I'm gonna. I'm just gonna look this up just to confirm uh, before we concede. Andu, we're gonna look up the the card name Andu inversion. Then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna filter by standard. And uh, there is theoretically a deck that played it one time. I don't know where it is. Was it this one? No, that's not. Okay, sure. I mean, fair enough. Well, that's disappointing. We were uh, we were set up to do some really sweet things. Onto Inversion is not a card I expected to get got by. Uh, not even a little. I mean, I was worried about the farewell, so I guess all is fair in, oh, Kamigawa standard. Oh, that's so disappointing. It's disappointing because we were just set up to like do such sweet stuff. Oh my goodness, where we set up to go off. And then we were fine with a creature wrath. Like we played around a creature wrath all day and our opponent, well, it is S tier. If you listen to the Commander Clash podcast, you know it is S tier. Uh, not for standard. That's the uh, that's kind of the weird part that it took place in standard. But I mean, on new inversion, S tier, S tier, S tier. Well, we'll keep those. We got a bunch of legends. We will see if any of them resolve and how many and how many annoying sweepers our opponent has. But looks like a keep to me. Well, tap land go. About it untaps. Oh. I really honestly cannot believe that that happened to us. Magda, about it, untaps. Drawing a counter would be nice. Depart the realms. Opponent has some really weird cards in their deck. Play the land, replay Magda. Hopefully we hit a counter at some point. Opponent, tap land. Sunset revelry to make two dorks. I'll play the land, play Azika. Tap Burgi. Play Mirror Box. Pass the Tur. Path of Barrel to mostly kill their own things. Ooh, Bard Class, that's a good one. I'll play Bard Class, level up Bard Class. Hit you with Azika. Pass the tur. Oh, memory deluge. Can we find a negate is the question. The problem here is 
is just the undo inversion effects. Like we're doing really sweet stuff, but that stuff does not necessarily be an undo inversion going off. We fully level up bard class. Well, there's an undo inversion. I mean, I think we just set up for next turn. We go to combat, hit you with a Zika. Play Ottawa, level up bard class. And all right, hopefully do sweet things next turn. Oh, magic gods, please. Six mana foretells, okay, and passes. All right, well, that's good news. So we start with Burgie. Draw a couple cards. Then we play Goro Goro. Draw a couple of cards. And make a mana. Okay, we might be able to go off here. Play the land, Magda, for free with Burgie out. Draw a couple cards. Okay. We're pretty fine with that. That's just more card draw. Thank you, about it. All right, so we draw a couple cards. Oh, I think we're going to be able to maybe put together this one. Poison the cup. All right, so that does shut down our Burgie. Good news is our opponent's fully tapped out. Uh, so Goro Goro. Draw a couple cards. Toski. Draw a couple cards. Haste. Draw some cards. Okay, now what is the question? We drew a Disdainful Stroke. Do we just have to pass and leave that up? We might. We have four mana if we tap all of our stuff. We're gonna lose a bunch of Moriats. You know what, I think we do. No, yeah, all right. Well, we found the counter. Our Toski came through. If our opponent casts the Wrath, we get to counter it and then beat them down. We found a way around the Undo Inversion. Oh, wow, this deck does such sweet stuff. Farewell. Why didn't we get to counter that? Interesting, okay. Well, I mean, punt, I guess. Yeah, 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 I think that counts as a punt. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking we would be able to Disdainful Stroke, but well, I guess we should have kept casting spells or left up mana. <laughs> oh no. All right, so our opponent does have just every, every one of those sweepers possible. Well, play Azika. I love that our opponent's constantly saying your go to you. Constantly saying your go, even though they're the control deck full of all the annoying wraths. Yeah, I think we just disdainful stroke that. Your go, opponent. <laughs> Untaps. Well, I think we might be able to reassemble stuff here, opponent foretells. And foretells. We're just trying to get in a position where we can level up bard class and still leave a counter up. Go to combat, hit ya. Poison the cup. Okay. Well, Azika. Go. Still have not been able to fully level it up. Poison the cup. Yeah, I think we want Azika to live this time, maybe. Let's counter it. Control players in their emote, I swear. I swears. Phone it passes. Well, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Level up the Bard class. Doing it now so we can't get blown out during combat. We will pass the turn. And then next turn, we will try to get to do cool things about it. Study break for no value. Gonna, gonna learn up a lesson of some kind. Pretty fine with our opponent getting, all right, teachings of the archaics plays a land. You know what, that's fine. Draw your cards, friend. We're gonna save this negate for when we really need protection from like an undo inversion. All right, opponent passes. So we will play a Jacob, draw a couple cards. Play the land on blue, Burgie. Magda Goro Goro. That's what we wanted to see. Oh, that's what we wanted to see, Magda. Make a mana. Oh, I think we're going to get him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Try to farewell us, will you? And there's a negate. Goro Goro. Trigger. I think it definitely does it now. Just hasting the team and opponent. Oh, whose go is it now, control deck? 
I think it's uh, I think it's Mirrorbox's turn. Do we have any more counters in our sideboard? No. Oh my god. All right. Well, I mean, I guess we hope you draw the counters. Farewell and onto inversion. Oh. One of the upsides of uh, of our deck, I think, is is that uh, we have a lot of permanents that are not creatures, so they dodge creature removal. But farewell and onto inversion. Don't care. Don't care at all. Sounds actually kind of sweet. Other than the fact that we got all tap lands, it's kind of sweet. Well. Tap Lango. But we do have a, a counter in hand, which is nice. The problem is Bard class, the cards are temporary, so they don't actually help us uh, help us drawing counters in specific. Uh huh. So four mana opponent could play something good. Let's just play Shatter Skull Smashing tapped. Pass the turn. Gonna play it a little careful. Like a Deferi here would be bad for us. Opponent passes. Well, play the land and Magda. Opponent. <laughs> Magda's kind of hilarious against all of our opponents. Tap your stuff down cards. Play the land, Bard class. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep playing it safe and keep leaving up our counters. Planes for our opponent. Farewell. All right. I mean, if they're just gonna farewell to get rid of Bard class, I guess we just accept that. Uh, untap land and. I think it's, I think it's Toski time. Opponent still frantically emoting about it. Tap land. Bet you wish you had that farewell now. Oh, you do. All right. Well, we're going to counter that one and start drawing some Magic the Gathering cards. Go to combat. Hit you with the Toski. Draw a card. Play Bard class. Level it up. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have onto inversion after all this or a third farewell. Opponent land. At least onto inversion doesn't kill the Toski. All right, on to Inver- Wow, this is obnoxious. Uh, land. Go to combat, hit you with the Toski. Counter, please. Bard class, play the Bard class. Level up the Bard class. Play the Mirror Box. All right, we're setting up for next turn, maybe. How many destroy all permanent cards can our opponent possibly have? Opponent, foretells. Are we through the Wraths? Opponent passes. Okay, land. Level up the Bard class all the way. Well, let the good times roll, hopefully. Oh, we shouldn't have played the land, should we? Hmm. Probably should not have. Yeah, because we're going to waste this land. Kills the Magda to do some scrying. Two to the bottom. That's what we wanted to see. Well, hit you, draw a card. Counter, perhaps? Well, play the Bard class. Pass the turd. Well, next turn, hopefully, is the good one. Memory Deluge. Grabs a couple of cards. Malevolent Hermit, not very good against us. Well, there's a Burgy. Well, I mean, I guess we're going, we're going for the gold. Oh boy, we could level this up too. Oh, I don't think we can afford it. Yeah, too much mana, so let's Burgy. Draw a couple of cards. Oh, another Burgy, that's interesting. Burgy. Number two, mirror box doing work. Our stuff is getting very cheap. So now everything we cast makes two mana. Burgie three? Burgie number three. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And the mirror box is pumping. Okay. So play a Zika. We basically need to hit haste. Draw some cards. Wow, this is, this is absurd. This is absurd. Triple Burgie. Burgie Tron. Burgie Tron against the control deck. Can we hit haste to close this out? That's the question. Azika. Oh, wait, do we? We tapped him properly. That's not good. Azika. Haste. We need our Goro Goro. We need the Goro Goro. That's the missing piece of this puzzle. We only have two green mana left. Moria and Gretchen. Gretchen. Draw a couple cards. We have so much red mana. Come on. Come on, Goro Goro. Also, Burgie 4 would be fine. Magda Toski. Well, Magda's free redraws. Ooh, and wow, if we hit haste, we just win. We have so much mana floating. Come on, deck. Show us that haste. Oh, 
opponent gives up through the farewells, through the undo inversions. Oh my goodness, it didn't matter. And that is, that is an example. I mean, look at that board. That is an example of a board that does not exist without mirror box. Like that is a mirror box board. There's no way you can't have three burgies. That's not allowed. That's against the rules. But in a world of mirror box, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> and the magic gods cannot stop us. And apparently, all the farewells and onto inversions in the world also can't stop us. Like we got hard wrath multiple times, like all permanents being blown up and our deck still over game. That was so good. That was spectacular. Oh, sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, I wonder if we would have hit the haste. I wish we could keep drawing cards just to see because I'm really curious. So we have a mana from Toski. I don't know why that says X2, but anyway. So we have, a oh, it has that ability twice. So we have a mana from Toski. We have another land drop. So worst case, we can play this Toski for free because the green is paid for. I think we would have hit it. Like, I think we draw enough cards that we would have hit it. And then with haste, oh my goodness. Like we attack with all this stuff and the game just ends. And mirror box is making your stuff big. That was, that was so sweet. Oh, mirror box. Boxes. Mirror box might be the new Panormana gun. It might. This might be my new obsession. Oh, wow. Well, sweet, sweet, sweet. Against Thod's time, we are mirror boxing in standard, and we're gonna ship this. Is this hand exactly the same? Very similar. This time we're gonna keep it. <laughs> One of my rules with this deck is don't keep hands with without green mana, but it's six. You got to do what you got to do. That's a rule for seven card hands, I think. Not necessarily six card hands. Well, tap land. Go. Lair of the Hydra. Ooh, Enchantress, eh? Well, there's our mirror box, but still no green mana, which is an issue. Green is our most important color, I think, as far as playing creatures. Cave of the Frost Dragon. And down to 19. And green source. Ooh, Cammy. Ooh, more red mana. Well, okay, we'll play a Burgy. <laughs> it's a card we can cast, so that's good. Here comes the enchantments and the dorks grow. Owner draws a card. Plays a land. We're gonna need to do some big things to keep up with what our opponent's doing. Hits us. I don't even know if we want to play mirror box or opponent sees it. Uh, you know what? Whatever, we'll play it. Mirror box and hitch ya. But without red mana, we're in a whole mess of trouble. Yeah, it just takes it. So if we draw green mana, I guess we can play a Toski. Okay, well, there goes the Burgie. And our opponent's stuff grows. <laughs> well, this might be a quick one. Smacks us. Down to seven. Well, I mean, that is technically green mana, but yeah, it doesn't even really matter. This has trample, so we can like play this, play this and chump. Yeah. All right, so we're just, we're just actually, <laughs> actually dead with uh, with a uh, cami whammy having trample over there. The enchantment deck is sweet. We played, uh, we played a budget enchantment deck for budget magic this week, and it was really, really impressive. Like even in budget form, the enchantments just go off. I mean, we were a we were a harmony deck, of course, because we were harmony is super sweet. But I think enchantments might be better than than people are giving them credit for in our new standard format. So we're gonna do some trimming to get some more removal to perhaps not immediately die to big enchantment stuff and this time we're gonna have green mana this time even if even at six we're still gonna keep mulliganing six five doesn't matter no green mana no keep that rule is getting uh getting harder and harder by the by the match the deck just really gotta have green mana this matchup does scare me because our colors don't have hard removal so we're kind of dependent on killing our opponent's stuff at the right time the other way we can win is just kind of going over the top. That might be the most realistic plan. Although enchantments are really good at killing random artifacts, random enchantments. So even that's a little frightening. Paladin class. Well, um, keep playing the tap lands past the turn. Forest for our opponent. And naturalist. I'll play the land, play Azika. Pass the turn. I don't think we can kill the naturalist. I think we got to kill the stuff that grows. So if our opponent's going to ramp and just flood the board, I think we got to let them do it, unfortunately. And we got to save our removal for when our opponent's trying to grow a cami or a generous visitor or whatever. Land for our opponent. There's the cami. And spirited companion to grow it. Ooh. Well, now we're probably going to have to kill the cami. Opponent attacks. Well, we get to block at least. 
There's Jacob. Well, play Bard class. And I think we just got to do this right, right now. Because these decks uh, definitely can be playing protection. Snakes can veil or whatever. So I think we just got to kill it while your opponent's tapped out. Hopefully we get to level up this Bard class and start doing fun things. Try to find our mirror box. All right. Spirit of Companion for one mana draws a card. I mean, Naturalist is really good. I wish we could kill it. Ooh, there's the we. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Weaver of Harmony opponent hits us for five. All right. Uh, definitely scared. Down to two, down to 15, put it up to 25. There's a Magda. Level up Bard class. Jacob. Has the turn. Ugh. A tricky, tricky, tough position. If they have like Machiko's Reign of Truth, I think we just die. Levels up. It's a lot of damage. No blocks. All right. So down to two, opponent up to 29. Oh no, and removal? Oh dear. Oh, we need our cards to stay to have any hope. Please, please about it. Oh, touch of the spirit realm. It's a Zika. Uh, okay. Play Magda. Play Goro Goro. Yeah, we're just super dead. Mirror box, dead. Well, that was a rough one. <laughs> Against the odds time, we are mirror boxing in Kamigawa standard. And this thing actually looks pretty good. Uh, we could use some more creatures, but we have the mirror box and we have, and we have the bard class. Well, land, bard class, step one. And we even got some frog action, which could be helpful in the future. White man is a little frightening for our deck because Skyclave Apparition can get mirror box and bard class. Ooh, Abzan, a prosperous innkeeper. Well, uh, level up bard class, play land untapped. Goro, Goro, go. Would like to draw land. If we can get down, if we can play a land, we mirror box and Gretchen maybe. Also worth keeping in mind with croaking counterpart. This can hit opposing creatures. So if our opponent plays something sweet, I mean, we only get a one, one version of it, but still. All right, opponent's gonna soar in and make a vampire. Well, the Burgie is good. Hmm, so we can give things haste. So if we Burgie haste, our opponent either has to chump or they lose the Sorin, but we're gonna lose something. Actually, this is even better. We get to, okay, Burgie. Play Burgie. Gratchin, Mega Red Mana. Haste up the dorks with Goro Goro. And let's just do it this way. Do we wanna cash in the Goro? You know what, attack, attack. I think getting rid of Sorin is worth it. If our opponent wants to double block and kill the Goro Goro, I think we're fine with that. Opponent, all right, gonna kill the Goro Goro. We're going to kill the vampire. Soren down. All right, we got the mirror box. Could use another land at some point. Opponent, pathway. Land to activate Gretchen, maybe. The double red sources. All right, so opponent gonna grab a couple lands. Sure, sure, sure. Another bard class. Go to combat, attack ya. I mean, for being a little mana screwed, we're doing all right. Opponent gonna block the Burgie. You know what? We'll play mirror box. That's fine. Play the mirror box past the turn. Come on, land. Land, land, land. Oh, I guess we should have played that earlier. I always forget that. I always think a mirror box is a combo piece, but it does so much more. It actually would have pumped our stuff, so we would have gotten in one more damage. All right, opponent has Lolf. Gonna make some spiders. Okay, there's a land. So we get to play the land. Attack the Lolf. Opponent blocks and blocks. That's fine. And... And I think we just pass. I think we're gonna draw with, draw with Gretchen. If we get one more land that we can level up the bard class and start drawing cards, are we cashing in Lolf? All right, opponent makes some more spiders. Sure, sure, sure. Could mean another Lolf is coming. Another Lolf would be a little annoying. All right, send it back leader, sure. Ranger class, sure. I mean, so far this is all stuff that I think we can go over the top of. And levels up, sure. Well, all right, come on, Gretchen. Burgie and Birdie. This is a funny draw. Uh, well, play Birdie. Make some mana. Play Birgie. 
Uh, or do we hold on to that one? Maybe we hold on to it. Yeah, let's Crow King counterpart Burgie. Make some mana. Go to combat, attack, attack. Just attack with the Burgie. If our opponent blocks with everything, we can abrade and blow them out. All right, opponent takes it. Now let's just abrade the pack leader. <laughs> Make a bunch of mana. Pass litter. Like, having multiple Burgies is so funny. Ah, please don't wrath. We're doing funny things, opponent. Please don't wrath us. Storm the festival, okay. Well, opponent's going big, but so are we in our own way. Opponent has a Ren and a land. I mean, we can level up the bar class with, by playing the birdies. So opponent makes a big tree folk. We can play a fourth birdie if we want to. Ooh, there's the land. Okay, so, so we play the land. How do we do this? We play the land. We level up bard class and pass. All right, we're just setting up for hopefully the greatest turn of all time next turn. If our bard class and mirror box live in three burgies, next turn could get crazy. Opponent, land, grows the dork. Can we have the best turn in Kamigawa Standard's history? Short, short history. Come on, hold. Zeros, okay. Puts a land into play. Grows the dork. Ren, okay. Okay, we're gonna get our chance to go off. Hold, that's fine. Make your big stuff, that is fine, that is fine. We get to do our thing. Opponent levels up, they're tapped out. All right, this is it. How far can we go? We got a level up arm class, we got triple Burgie. Can't we play through our entire deck? Opponent goes attacking. I mean, we're just gonna, we're gonna take it. Sure, down to six. We wouldn't mind drawing a let. Ooh, Moriat. Okay. There still is fizzle potential. Play Burgie to make some mana and draw some cards. Burgie number four. We would like some cheap red legends. Magda counts. All right, play Magda to make some mana. <laughs> ah, come on. Now we need the Goro Goro. That's the last, the last piece. Or right, play another Magda. That's fine. Sure, Magda. Oh, mirror box is so absurd. Yes, yes. Oh, make that mana. Nine mana floating. Little fizzly. Well, play a braid uh, for free. Actually, as a ritual. Kill stuff. Blue, blue. More yet. Make some mana. Oh, that's a whiff. Copy Burgie. Oh, we're fizzling. That's awkward. I'll play the land. Hmm, <laughs> bard class. Make a ridiculous amount of mana. Mirror box. Make a even more ridiculous amount of mana. Level up, bard class. Do we win? So attack, attack. You know what, I think we gotta stay on D. No attacks. I mean, so that was a great turn. I would have liked to hit another legend <laughs> to keep the fun going, but that was still pretty impressive. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Two Magdas, a pile of Burgies. Pony has a bunch of lands. I mean, our stuff is huge. The Burgies are super huge because they're each pumping each other. Storm the festival. Pony spins it to win it. What do they find? Oh, we just want any legend. Myla and Soren, sure. Plays a land. Oh, we just want any legend to start the party again. Dang, a floral hedron. All right, that's what our opponent's got. Our virgies are bigger than the, the tree folk at the moment. Makes a vampire. About it. What a, what a crazy game. Ooh, that's a, that is a legend. So, one, two, three, four. Actually, are we better off playing, leveling this up again? We could level up. You know what, we're just gonna play. Let's play horn. Make a bunch of mana. <sighs> Okay, we hit a Jacob. Well, I mean, play the Jacob. Draw a couple cards. Make a ridiculous amount of mana. Play a Zika. 
that's big. That fixes all of our mana. Oh, now we now we should be good to go. Now we should be good to go all the way. Draw a couple of cards. Oh, I guess a pinch is still card draw, isn't it? So horn, discard a bard class. Oh no! Tap Magda for mana. Green mana, please don't time out. Gretchen to, oh, I think we are gonna go infinite. I think we are as infinite as we can get, really. Oh, the game's gone, so we can't talk about it. Cause we could Gretchen using the mana from tapping our stuff since we have a Zika to draw cards and then discard the cards to Horn to hopefully eventually hit the Goro Goro and win. Okay, that was... <laughs> That was the most mirror boxy thing we've done so far. Like, how many do we have? Six Burgies? Is pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. So our opponent's deck, Big Tree folks, uh, Abzan, Storm the Festival. Uh, we'll bring in some counter spells, I think. Little concerned about the Big Tree folk. I guess we gotta just focus on keeping, keeping them off the battlefield and then going off. Uh, so... Uh, not trimming bard classes, trim the Trognars. Yeah, that is one of the regions why Gretchen is in the deck is because we make all this mana with the treasures once we get multiple Magdas, and then in theory, Gretchen is the mana sink that draws us cards to hopefully find the finish and close out the game. So that is, that is one of the biggest reasons that we're actually playing it. Maybe something like this. Although Jacob doesn't seem bad in this matchup. I kind of like Jacob. Its colors are awkward, but I do kind of like it. Can we go down one Goro Goro, maybe? We could bring in Burn Down the House. Maybe we want one Burn Down the House. Let's go down one more yet for a Burn Down the House. Like, Burn Down the House ugh, doesn't necessarily get the big tree folk, but it is a pretty good reset against everything else, and it deals with the Planeswalkers, so I think as a one of, it's probably worth it. Well, let's do that again, because that was sweet. I mean, we're going to need another green source, but that sounds pretty reasonable. Magda into Azika is mana. We don't have any of our mirror boxes yet, but... Well, tap land, go. If Magda lives, the treasures are relevant. Like getting down Toski to draw cards is also nice. Opponent, Prosperous Inkiba. Mm, that's pretty good. Uh, land and Magda. Goo. Dodging a Zika's Chariot would be helpful. Turn three is Zika's Chariot's always a little frightening. Opponent. All right, runs out of Soren, sure. Makes a vampire. Goes attacking, no blocks. Well, change of plans, I guess. Wait, can we do everything? If we play this, we play Azika, we attack. Yeah, I think we just gotta kill Sorin. So kill the vampire, play the land, attack the Sorin. It would have been sweet if we could get down Azika too, but this is, this is fine. Pass the turn. Opponent. Well, we got through sword number one. Well, now we're in the find bard class, find mirror box part of the game. Opponent gets in, hits us. Sure, sure, sure. Now play a land, play a Zika. Well, uh, make a mana, make a treasure. Okay. You know what? Let's just play a. Let's just play Azika again. <laughs> we got another one, Yorgo. Prismatic Bridge is fine in the deck, and it's really funny if we get multiples of them going, but Azika's really, really good with Magda. Ooh, there's our Mirror Box. So opponent can block one of them. Actually, Mirror Box keeps them from blocking, doesn't it? Uh, play Mirror Box. Grow the Dorks. Play the Land. Magda. Oh, always, always avoid the auto tapper. The auto tapper really wants to tap our creatures in this deck. Play Toski. Attack with a Zika. Hopefully start drawing some cards. Hit ya. Oh, you know what's better than Toski? Two skis. <laughs> when, uh, I think that's what might be coming this turn. Uh, all right, Toski two. Goro Goro and haste him up. And we will just attack with everything. Here they come. Oh, double Toski. <laughs> double Toski seems reasonable. Opponent's gonna double block. That is acceptable. We will kill your things. We will draw six Magic the Gathering cards. 
<laughs> Can we get another Toski? All right, land, 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 Burgi, Goro, Goro, negate, an opponent, as all the Toski draws are piling up. <laughs> done, done, done. <laughs> Well, the last game was sweet. The first game was incredibly sweet. Uh, that one with the six Burgies was, wow, about as good as it gets. But even that game, just like having two Toskies instead of one to double the card draw, even just that is pretty good. So, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Bust dead. Did we break it? I haven't said that this week yet. So did we break it? Did we break standard? <laughs> Maybe this deck's actually good. Oh, anyway, sweet. So what do we learn this week about Teamer Mirror Box in Standard? And record-wise, we went three and two in the video matches, four and three overall, including one match. Uh, the extra loss is one that I scooped early. It was Black White Control again, and I uh, didn't really feel like playing that matchup again. Not because it's a bad matchup, just because it's so long and grindy. And I don't think you want to have two of those in one video. So four and three overall, which means the deck actually can win a reasonable amount of games. Most importantly, oh my goodness, can this deck do re? Ridiculous things. I mean, that's the real reason to play this deck. We had games with three Toskies on the battlefield. We had a game with, I think, six copies of Burgi going. So everything we cast was making six extra red mana. We're just going through our entire deck. We had multiple Magdas. We just did absolutely absurd things. So the combo of Bar Class and Mirror Box, oh my goodness, it is just ridiculously fun. I will say two things. One is the hardest part about building this deck was actually narrowing it down to a build to play. There's so many possibilities with mirror box. So I expect we'll be seeing some more bard class in the future. Also, uh, slight deck building pump. I thought I included the clone MDFC. I think the clone MDFC is really good in the deck, but uh, I didn't realize until I was doing the deck tech actually that I didn't actually put it in the deck. I thought it was in there, but it actually was. I was wondering why we never drew it in any of our games, but that is a good addition. Toss a couple of those in. More clones work really well with mirror box. So anyway, that's Teamer Mirror Box. If you like to just do big, ridiculous, explosive, draw your deck, make all the mana kind of things in Kamigawa Standard, I think this is a pretty good way to go. So anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.